By the end of this video, you're gonna learn how to make this effect using TyFlow. This idea came from the question from Bruno Jean in TyFlow group in Facebook. And I end up with the same setup as Boban Krzmanovic, but he shared the files even, and I learned something with his setup, and I'm going to show you everything today. Here, the setup, in case you wanna just to come back and remember some setups, you pause the screen and you can see the setups here. Now let's go to the tutorial. The first thing you need to create a line on the top. That's where you're gonna create the particles and then we're gonna create a box down here that is to hold the, the end particles. So to hold the hopes, let's say. Now we create a tie flow. Now you create perfect spline, select the spline on the top. Then you create a spawn only once. Next, you create particle, particle switch to deactivate. So you hold those particles. I just changed to large dots, just to visualize, it's not needed. Next, in spawn once, you create a new event. And here you're gonna create a spread. And this spread, you're gonna send them all the way down to inside the box. And resample. Resample, you're gonna change to parent to children. So this will be the resolution of your spline, basically. Quite important. Next, you're gonna create a particle bind. And you can click in show bindings. So now you see this will become your hopes. And for that, you're gonna create a spline, spline path, create new. So you can visualize them now. And, and you create by particle bindings. Let's make this line a little thicker. And remember, here we create the number of splines. And in resample, we create the resolution of the splines, okay, in threshold. Let's put 10 for now. And you don't need to see the dots anymore. Let's create a force. Press X, tie wind. And part of the tutorial will be around the tie wind. So that will be the basic setup. And here let's add a force. And let's choose our wind. And if we play, you see that the top is already working. Let's hold the down, let's hold the button of the hopes with the box. For that, we create surface test. We choose the object and select volume inside. So whatever will be inside here, we'll send to a new event. We're gonna put a particle switch and it's deactivate biting. So it's holding place. Just messing up here with setup and understand what's doing. So yeah, let's hold here. And you might wonder why this is all tagged. Because in the spread, there is this setup that randomizes things. And for this setup in particular, I want the straight. So that's good. And the splines are like this. So let's fix this by welding bindings. 
Now the setup go around the wind force. We can even close the tie flow here setup and start playing with the force. So in tie wind, we lower a lot the strength. But your main friend here is this guy, the noise. You can even reduce here. Let's put zero. And this is already working, but how to make it nice like mine? You can create it a little bit lower here and spread. You're gonna keep going down and percentage we reduce here so we create more lines the width of the spline itself we need to reduce also and resample we can increase the resolution of the line just so you can understand let's put 90 And now let's put 5. See, they bend even more. Oops, they lost. Let's go a little bit further down. So in wind, we have a nice setup here that they are, the numbers are so big that you don't see what they are doing because it's kind of infinite. But let's put a small value and you start seeing this gimbal that shows where it influences. See? That's interesting to have more control over your effect. So I could keep going on and on with changing parameters, change this, change that, but that's the basic setup, guys, and hope you learned something today and gonna do some cool videos with effect. If you do so, please share with me. I'll be happy to show here in my channel. And have fun.